Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna to be creating a geolocation field. Now there's different reasons why you'd want to create a geolocation field and that you'd want to, and that's probably why you're here, <laughs> is because you have a specific scenario. In my scenario, why we're creating a geolocation field, um, we have a custom object that we created to track classes for going to college for your career path or your degree path. So we could have in this scenario, the geolocation field be for the class location. This could vary depending on the degree path that you're going. If you're going for a business one, you're probably just gonna be in the business hall for the majority of your classes. If you're going for geology, then you might have classes that require you to go camping. I know I could have signed up for those when I was going to college, but I was a business major. So those did not apply to me. So let's go ahead and jump into the back end of Salesforce by going to the gear icon up here in the top right and then go to setup. From here, go to object manager and then go ahead and search for the object that you want to add this field for. So I went to class. Now I'm gonna go down to fields and relationships and then click new. Awesome, let's go and go down to geolocation. It's in somewhat of an alphabetical order after you get past auto number and the lookup relationship section. Let's just go ahead and go to next. Awesome. Let's go ahead and have this be class location. Awesome. That's going to be the field label. I am going to leave it as the legend latitude and longitude display not notation as how it is. Uh, decimal places, I might add two. And then field name, that's just the API name. So I'm going to leave it how it is. Just remember that anything that has a red bar next to it is going to be required. You can add a description. This is going to be for the admins and developers on the back end of Salesforce. What? Just tell them what this field is going to be used for and why they should keep it if they're looking to downgrade some of their Salesforce stuff or understanding why this is in place. Hub text is going to be for the person on the front end who is going to be filling out the record. So it might be helpful to say, hey, just point to which building it is on the map and you should be good to go. But I am going to click next here and that should take us, it's gonna take a little time, but to the field level security for the profile. So there's two settings visible and read only. If visible is unchecked, that means that it will not show up for these people. If visible is checked, it will show up and they can edit it. And if visible and read only are checked, then it will be that they can only see it. They can't edit it at all. I'm going to leave this how it is because of it being in a developer org. But if you are doing this for your work, then I would recommend that you test this out a lot before you, you move forward with that. I'm gonna click next here. All right, so we have the page layout. This is just going to say, hey, this is visible on the page. Some fields you don't wanna have them visible, this one you do. So let's go ahead and hit save here. And with that, we can go in and check to see if this geolocation field is there. So let's go back to the front end of Salesforce, which is in another tab for me. I'm going to hit refresh here. Refreshing the tab just allows Salesforce to sync up with the back end. I'm going to go over to the app launcher in the waffle and then search for that object that I added this field for and then go into my test record. So it's not showing up on the front end of Salesforce, which is totally fine. This can take a lot of time depending on the servers that day, depending on how much configuration you have in your current Salesforce org. So you might need to wait 15 to 30 minutes, but if it gets over like an hour that you've been waiting for this change, then I would start looking into some possible issues that you're running into. Let's go ahead and jump into edit and see if that field is there. It is not there. This one, tends to take a little bit of time to show up. So it did take a couple of minutes for that latitude and longitude field to show up. I want to say it took like an extra five minutes of waiting for it, but let's go ahead and check it out. You can enter in the latitude and the longitude. I know in some super custom orgs that I've been in, they also have, in addition to this geolocation field, like a map that'll update with it. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how to update that and make that happen. It might be as simple as adding in a third-party app or you might have to develop it yourself, but I know that it is possible. Um, but yeah, that is how you create a geolocation field within Salesforce. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the certification prep courses on Salesforce Upskill, Udemy Business, and LinkedIn Learning. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.